Uh, so a quick video here about using your calculator uh, with recurrence relations. So here's the question. Uh, use your calculator to find the first five terms of Tn equals 3 Tn minus 1 plus 2 if term 1 is equal to 4. Uh, so if we jump into our, you can do that by hand already, but we're going to use our calculator to do it. So here's my, my front screen. And one of the options is called recursion. So go down to there and choose that one. Now, um, there's a couple of, couple of buttons here. Uh, the interesting one you're probably going to need to use quite a bit is the type. So instead of using the letter T subscript N, they actually use A subscript N. I'm not really sure why they choose that letter, probably because they can have multiple recursions with A, B, and C. Uh, but They've got different types of recursion. I'll show you what I mean. They have a formula where A subscript N equals A N plus B. They have one where A N plus 1 equals uh, A A N plus B N plus C. And then they have another one, A N plus 1 equals such and such and such. Uh, the reason they've got these is because your calculator actually can't do uh, this N minus 1 bit here. It, it can only do um, n, n plus 1, or n plus 2, things like that. So if you want to create, if you want to uh, use your calculator to do this formula, you need to rewrite it so that there's not an n minus 1 there. And we've actually done that before. To get rid of that n minus 1, we just need to write our formula not as tn, but instead as t n plus 1. So the next term equals the previous term, which in this case is, or the current term, which is 3TN uh, plus 2. So those are equivalent. We've talked about that before uh, in class. So if I want to graph this one and I want to use a previous term, then I have to use F2. So F2. So there's the type of formula. And now it's AN plus 1 or TN plus 1 equals, and I just uh, press this arrow to get into it, okay, and then I just need to use a n, so a n is going to be the um, the current term, what I'm trying to find is the next term, so I'm going to do three times a n f2, and then uh, plus, was it plus two? Yeah, plus two. Okay, so now I've got my formula written in there how I need it to be written in, uh, and then I just go into set. Now, I need to ask myself, am I starting? So there's two conventions here with um, arithmetic sequence, oh, sorry, with sequences. You can call the first term A0, or you can call the first term A1. We always call the first term A1. So just make sure you've got it set up. Press F2 here. First term is A1. Now, I'm going to set it up so that the first term is, um, what was the first term? Four. Okay, it's already written in there. I must have done it already. Oops. Try that again. Okay, first term is four. And I want to know the first term to the fifth term. I want to know the first five terms. Okay. Just execute that. And then finally, I can ask it for a table. So I just click the little table button here. And there are my uh, formulas. 1, 4, so the first term is 1, the, the, sorry, the first term is 4, the second term is 14, third term is 44, and so on. My terms there, but your graphics can kind of go one step further here. Uh, if I click gplot, uh, it'll plot that, um, and I'll just explain what that plot is. If we let these be x values, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and we let these be y values, 4, 14, 44, 134, 404, what we get on our calculator, you can see these dots here. So there's a small dot here um, at term 2 is 14. There must be a dot here, term 1 is 4, and so on. Um, you might not be able to see that if you try it on your calculator. If you can't, you just need to change the view window so that your x minimum is 0, your x maximum is 6, your y um, minimum is 0, and your y maximum is about 500, and then just exit out of exit out of there. Um, now, you can exit out of that. You can also do a g con, um, 
which just joins up those dots with lines. And you can see this is going to start getting steeper and steeper and steeper as we go along. All right, uh, that's some calculator stuff uh, with recurrence relations.